I've had an opportunity some time ago to give a rather longer paper to Credo in Athlone. Now I intend to stick rigidly within the six minutes that has been uh, allocated. And let me say straight away, and to save time, that when I launched my own campaign, I published a manifesto built on a number of principles. These were a radical inclusive citizenship in a creative society generating an Irishness that would be completely different from recent times. And I said that then as we moved on to celebrate so many centenaries, we would be able to assess whether we were indeed implementing the values of a real republic. Over the last several weeks, I've been all around the country, and I've taken these particular topics and explained them in more detail. For example, at Merriman, about when I gave the final lecture on the rights of the child. But I want to say some, maybe some things that I think are crucial to your own organization, which I admire, and the discourse of which you are a part. You are, for example, part of the National Economic and Social Forum. You are part of the NASC. You have been part of social partnership. And I think that there are issues during the period of the next presidency that a discourse that is adequate could help you. For example, by the way, to clarify one matter, we can in other places debate what the President can do. The President indeed has three roles, there is the constitutional obligation, there are ceremonial things one does, but it's in Article 13 9, the discretionary spaces. And in Article 13 there is a debate about that. I've checked this. That's how Mary Robinson decided to go and visit Simon. It is how Mary Mechelis decided to speak about building relations between communities in, in Northern Ireland. That's the space. Well, now, in that space, as we look at it, the things that are very important, if we are to address your point, to have an inclusive citizenship, and if we are going to seek civil society's role in it, you have to have a debate about ethics. I explicitly say you really do need, we, we all need, to have a debate about the values that brought us to the point of where we are now, of having lost our economic sovereignty to some degree, to a great degree, and to have had such distress created in our community. There is no real meaningful way in which you can go forward without a debate that is ethically based. I have said, right at the very beginning, and it's an idea that in different versions has turned up as well, and I welcome that, I said that I would, because the government, and I have experience in cabinet, government has to deal with the day-to-day -day issues and legislate. The President is an independent office. You don't go and say what you want me to do. The Presidency is something that can address the themes that are, not being, that are being neglected. For example, that there are wider issues of immigration, poverty, young people, old people. That's what I, why I proposed a set of seminars. I published that and I'm committed that the first one will deal with being young in Ireland, the position of young people. But I also think another should be about the kind of discourse we need about the relationship between the state, the civil society, charitable organisations and the NGO sector. Because I lectured for many years in social policy, and you can't run away from the fact that what, is, what are we trying to do? If we want an inclusive citizenship, you have to be able to deal with all of these dimensions, and you need an adequate set discussion to do that, which will include ethics. Many of you receive uh, support from the state. That is an important issue. How do you deal with the state? What is to be the role of the state? Do we want an inclusive state? I spent all my life trying to change legislation. A long time ago, Catherine McGuinness chaired a seminar, a pe produced a beautiful paper on the balance of relationship between the voluntary sector and the state. This issue still remains there. It also in relation, I think, to some of the other issues which, which I have said about the inclusive citizenship. Let's all agree that there are no barriers to that, that that includes people of all ages. Now, if you want to say that your advocacy, therefore, can't stop at a piece of legislation in one area. It has to speak about such an advocacy as will reform administration that will allow people of all ages to be involved in the administering of the decisions that have come through in legislation. 
you need to discuss that in the kind of seminar I was speaking about. You also, in relation to creativity, you need to be creative in administration. You need to be creative in how we define work. Work not defined as economically useful only, but work that is part of the human person, the rest of how carers deliver their place in the world. You see, I'm speaking about a real republic. I am openly saying I do not seek to recreate the corrosive, deadly vision of the last 15 years based on radical individualism. I say let's have the courage, state, NGO sector, and civil society to move together to create a different set of values based on radical inclusion, creative and excellent in everything we do, an Irishness we can be proud of, and then in a few years' time, we'll be able to say we have taken our first steps towards building a real republic. Gramilema. Thank you.